Luka Doncic was born in the capital city of Slovenia on February 28, 1999. According to his family, Doncic first touched a basketball when he was seven months old and was frequently playing with a miniature hoop in his room by the age of one. He played various sports in his childhood, including football, which he later quit after growing too tall. At age seven, he began playing organized basketball at primary school. Doncic shown as a youth player for Union Olympia before joining the Youth Academy of Real Madrid. In 2015, he made his debut for the Academy senior team at age 16, becoming the youngest in club history. Two years later, he led Madrid to the 2018 EuroLeague title, winning the EuroLeague MVP as well as the Final Four MVP. Doncic was also named the ACB Most Valuable Player and won back-to-back -back EuroLeague Rising Star and ACB Best Young Player Awards. He was selected to the EuroLeague 2010-2020 to All-Decade Team. In 2018, Doncic declared for the NBA Draft. On June 21, 2018, Doncic was selected with the third overall pick by the Atlanta Hawks in the 2018 NBA Draft. Third pick in the 2018 NBA Draft. The Atlanta Hawks select Luka Doncic from Ljubljana, Slovenia and Real Madrid. Man, it has been quite a couple of days. He was then traded to the Dallas Mavericks in exchange for draft rights to Trey Young and a, and a protected future first round pick in 2019. After the draft, Mavericks head coach Rick Carl said, at one point we thought there might be a slight chance Doncic could fall to us, but a couple days ago it was pretty clear that there was no way that was going to happen. He's just too good. We get a guy we think is a franchise foundation piece. He signed his rookie contract with the Mavericks on July 9th, 2018. Luka did not play in the 2018 NBA Summer League, however, due to his late buyout from Real Madrid. For the 2018-19 season, ESPN considered him the favorite to win NBA Rookie of the Year award. Luka Doncic made his regular season debut on October 17th, 2018, recording 10 points, 8 rebounds, and 4 assists in a 121-100 loss to the Phoenix Suns. With a jumper. Wow. Doncic from Matthews. On October 20th, he recorded 26 points and 6 rebounds in a win over the Minnesota Timberwolves. He became the youngest 20-point scorer in franchise history. Then, on October 29th, he posted 31 points and 8 rebounds in a loss against the San Antonio Spurs for his first 30-point game in the NBA. He recorded his first NBA double-double on November 19th, where he was also named NBA Rookie of the Month for that year for the Western Conference. On December 8th, Doncic scored 21 points in a 107-104 win over the Houston Rockets. After initial struggles, he produced a personal 11-0 run in the game's final minutes. He was then named Western Conference Rookie of the Month for December of 2018. In the month of January, Doncic recorded his first NBA triple-double with 18 points, 11 rebounds, and 10 assists in a loss to the Milwaukee Bucks. This made him the third youngest player in NBA history to accomplish this feat. By Doncic. Buck showing Doncic a crowd, he kicks it out to the corner. At 19 years and 327 days old, behind LaMelo Ball and Markel Fultz. On January 27th, Doncic scored a season-high 35 points and recorded his second NBA triple-double, adding 12 rebounds and 10 assists in a 123-120 loss to the Toronto Raptors. He became the first teenager in NBA history with a 30-point triple-double and with multiple double-doubles. Two days later, Doncic was named a confirmed participant for the world team, representing Slovenia in the 2019 Rising Stars Challenge. Despite being second in fan voting, behind only LeBron James, and ranked 8th total in voting score, Doncic wasn't selected to the Western Conference All-Stars in the 2019 All-Star Game. On February 6th, Doncic recorded his third triple-double with 19 points, 10 rebounds, and 11 assists of the win over the Hornets. This made him the youngest player in NBA history to record three triple-doubles. He edged Hall of Famer Magic Johnson by 117 days. On February 25th, Doncic recorded his fourth triple-double in a loss to the Clippers. Doncic then had four of the five triple-doubles recorded by teenagers in NBA history. He was then named Western Conference Rookie of the Month for January of 2019. His eight triple-doubles ranked fourth on the season behind Russell Westbrook, Nikola Jokic, and Ben Simmons, as well as he was tied with LeBron James. Doncic became just the fifth player in NBA history to average at least 20 points, 5 rebounds, and 5 assists in his rookie year, joining Oscar Robertson, Michael Jordan, LeBron James, and Tyreek Evans. In May, Doncic was selected unanimously to the All-Rookie First Team, and in June he received the NBA Rookie of the Year award. He became the second European player after Paul Gasol to win the award, and the sixth overall winner not born in the United States.
Continuing into his sophomore season, Doncic had his first triple-double of the season on October 25, 2019, posting 25 points, 10 rebounds, and 10 assists to help the Mavericks defeat the Pelicans. In two consecutive games, on November 1st to 3rd, he not only recorded two triple-doubles, but matched a career-high 15 assists in both games. On November 8th, he scored a career-high 38 points and recorded his 12th NBA triple-double by adding 14 rebounds and 10 assists in a loss to the Knicks. Ten days later, he recorded a career-high 42 points in his sixth season triple-double by adding 11 rebounds and 12 assists. He made NBA history in a 142-94 win over the Warriors when he posted 35 points, 10 rebounds, and 11 assists, becoming the youngest player to have, to have a 35-point triple-double, breaking Oscar Robertson's record, and, and was only the fourth player to record it since the 1983-84 season, joining Michael Jordan, James Harden, and Russell Westbrook. In November, Doncic was named the NBA Western Conference Player of the Week for Week 5, November 18th to 24th, his first NBA Player of the Week award. Then, in December, he won his first NBA Player of the Month when he was named NBA Western Conference Player of the Month for October and November. He became the youngest Western Conference Player of the Month winner since the league began issuing the award by conferences in, two in the 2001-2 season. In December, he was also named Sports Illustrated 2019 Breakout of the Year. On December 8th, 2019, Doncic surpassed the record for most consecutive games with at least 20 points, 5 rebounds and 5 assists since the ABA-NBA merger in 1976. Michael Jordan previously held the record with 18 straight games in 1989. Doncic then recorded his 10th triple-double of the season on January 4, 2020, having 39 points, 12 rebounds, and 10 assists in a loss to the Hornets. He's averaging over 16 points as Luka's step back three is the first three-pointer of the game for Dallas. Luka grabs a rebound after Biombo misses a hook shot in the paint. Just try to cut this lead a little bit. During the 2019-20 season, Doncic was selected to his first NBA All-Star game as a Western Conference starter. He became the youngest European player to start in an All-Star game. On March 4th, Doncic recorded his 22nd career triple-double, passing Jason Kidd for the most in franchise history. He registered 30 points, 17 rebounds, and 10 assists in a win over the Pelicans. On August 4th, Doncic recorded another triple-double with 34 points, 12 assists, and with that, he became the youngest player to record 30-plus points, 20-plus rebounds, and 10, and 10 or more assists. On August 8th, Doncic had a then-career high 19 assists, which tied LeBron James for an NBA season high. Championship contender, but they look awfully good right now. They sure do, and I can't take my eyes off Doncic. The footwork there, and look at this though. pass. The pivot. On August 15th, he was selected to the NBA's all seeding games first team for his play in the eight seeding games, where he averaged 30 points, 10 rebounds, and 9.7 assists per game in the bubble. Doncic finished as one of the three finalists for the NBA's Most Improved Player Award. He became the third behind eventual winner Brandon Ingram and second place Bam Adebayo. On August 17th, Doncic made his NBA playoffs debut, where he scored 42 points, most ever in an NBA playoff debut, in a 110 to 118 loss to the Los Angeles Clippers. Yep. Doncic for three as the shot clock expires. On August 23rd, he became the youngest player in NBA postseason in history with a 40-point triple-double, scoring 43 points and a 135-133 overtime victory over the LA Clippers, while hitting the game-winning three-pointer. With that performance, he became just the second player in NBA history to record at least 43 points, 17 rebounds, and 13 assists in any game, winning Will Chamberlain as the other. The inbound. Back to Doncic. Doncic pulls up, three-pointer. Bang! Bang! It's good! Doncic wins the game at the buzzer! On September 16th, he was named to the NBA All-First Team. He became the first player since Tim Duncan in the 1998-99 season to be selected to an All-NBA First Team in a first or second season. He finished fourth overall in the season's MVP voting, and became the second youngest player to ever finish in the top five of MVP voting. On February 6th, 2021, Doncic matched his then-career high 42 points while putting up 11 assists and 7 rebounds in a win over the Warriors. Dallas leading by the 11. Excellent start to the game. They want to close out the first quarter well, which they do. A Luka dunk. Another open lane for Luka to drive. Luka, nine points. Couple of drives to the basket last time's down. Going to go inside against Gafford. Goes to his body after the pump fake. 
and once again, Luka penetrates it. On May 7th, he reached 5,000 points for his career, and at the age of 22 years and 68 days old, he became the fourth youngest player to achieve that feat, trailing only LeBron James, Kevin Durant, and Carmelo Anthony. He also passed Kareem Abdul-Jabbar as the youngest player in league history to record a playoff triple-double on the road. On May 22nd, he recorded 31 points, 10 rebounds, and 11 assists in a win over the Los Angeles Clippers in Game 1 of the 2021 NBA Playoffs. He became the first player in NBA history to have three triple-doubles in their first seven career postseason games. He also passed Kareem Abdul-Jabbar as the youngest player in league history to record a playoff triple-double on the road. On May 28th, he then he scored a then-career-high 44 points in a Game 3 loss in the Western Conference. On June 1st, in Doncic's first career Game 7, he surpassed his playoff career high with 46 points along with 14 assists. However, the Mavericks fell short 126-111 to and were eliminated in the first round by the Clippers for the second consecutive season. And this series is over. The first round is over. The home team finally gets a win. The Clippers advance. The stoic superstar, Kawhi Leonard, 28 points. Despite opening the series with a 2-0 lead, June 15th, he was selected to his second consecutive All-NBA First Team. Like the previous year, he had become the first player since Tim Duncan to be selected twice to the All-NBA First Team in the first three seasons and just the sixth to do so since the ABA-NBA merger. On August 10th, 2021, he signed a five-year, $207 million rookie extension, the largest in NBA history. On February 3rd, Doncic was named a reserve for the 2022 NBA All-Star Game. No threes, no threes! Yes! We win the quarter, man. We're good. We just gotta win the quarter. Good job. On February 5th, he logged his 44th career triple-double with 33 points, 13 rebounds, 15 assists, and 2 steals in a win over the 76ers, overtaking Fat Lever for the 10th on on the all-time career triple-double list. On February 13th, in a back-to-back -back against the Los Angeles Clippers, Doncic scored 23 out of his 45 points in the fourth quarter grabbed 15 rebounds and dished out 8 assists. With 96 points in 2 games, Doncic had the most in 2 game span against the same opponent since Wilt Chamberlain scored 100 for the Sixers Philadelphia against Seattle in December of 1967. Doncic then became the first player in NBA history to average 30 points, 10 rebounds, and 8 assists per game while shooting at least 40% from the 3 point range in the calendar month since the 3 point era in 19 1980. On March 3rd, Doncic won his second career NBA Player of the Month award when he was named NBA Western Conference Player of the Month for February. He is the second in Mavericks history to win this award multiple times, joined by Dirk Nowitzki, who won it six times in his career. Dantic missed the first three games of the playoffs because of an injury in the final regular season game. But on April 28th, he led the Mavericks to a 98-96 Game 6 win over the Utah Jazz to close out the first round series. It was the first time Dallas had advanced to the postseason's second round in Doncic's four-year NBA career. It was also the first time the Mavericks won since the first round since winning the 2011 NBA Finals. Say they call it Josh Green 50-50. <laughs> For that reason alone, Luka Doncic. Then, on May 15th, Doncic recorded 35 points, 10 rebounds, 4 assists, and 2 steals in 3 quarters in a 123-90 Game 7 blow win against the number one overall seeded Suns, securing the Mavericks' place in the Western Conference Finals. In Game 2 of the Western Conference Finals, Doncic posted 42 points, 5 rebounds, and 8 assists, 3 steals, and a 126-117 loss against the Golden State Warriors. He joined Michael Jordan, Will Chamberlain as the only players in NBA history with 800 points through the first 25 playoff games. He also tied Dirk Nowitzki for the most 40-plus points games in Mavericks history with 7. Mavericks would go on to lose the series to the Warriors in 5 games. On May 24th, he was selected his third consecutive All-NBA First Team, becoming the third player to do so since Tim Duncan and Larry Bird. If somebody doesn't put a body on you, that's exactly what you do. Go to the glass. Pollock throws the defense with a pass fake. Luka Doncic has frequently been described as a, as a positionless guard, with attributes of a point guard, shooting guard, and small forward. Standing six foot seven and weighing 230 pounds, he has been praised for his exceptional size and strength for a guard position. Since his early years with Real Madrid, Doncic was tabbed as Europe's premier talents. 
Entering the 2018 NBA draft, he was widely seen as one of the best and most accomplished European prospects of his generation. Doncic is versatile on the offensive end, displaying proficiency in shooting three-pointers, mid-range jump shots, floaters, and shots in the post. His basketball IQ, intangibles, and skills have been considered his primary assets, and he is seen as an elite facilitator. At only 23 years of age, Luka has cemented himself as one of the best players in the NBA and has turned himself into the star franchise player for the Dallas Mavericks.